Hello, in this video we are going to use SPSS to conduct a chi-squared and we're going to use the uh, new route, the new dialog boxes rather than the legacy dialog boxes. We're going to use the example data from chapter 6, which is the P form and colour and the, the data that we're going to actually use is this column here. Here we have the data in uh, label values with label values turned on and we can turn them off to see like that to go to we get a view and then switch value labels off in order to see the number codes that we've actually put in. You can either make this data file yourself and there's separate help videos on making data files or you can download the pre-prepared data file from the online resource center. If we go to variable view we can see again the definition of all the, uh, the uh, variables and we can check the value labels that have been used. Okay, let's crack on with the analysis. If we go to analyze, uh, non-parametric, uh, one sample, and we're going to, uh, you've got these, uh, in this uh, dialog box, you'll see the three tabs at the top, objective fields and setting. Uh, you want to customize your analysis in the objective tab. In the fields tab, uh, just get rid of the, um, these uh, seed form and seed color, those are uh, the uh, variables that you're not using. You're very going to use the variable categories. And then in the settings, you want to make sure it does a test. You want to customize your test. You want to um, compare observed probabilities, those hypothesized. Um, let's choose that. Look at our options here. Um, we're going to initially do it all categories have equal probabilities, a test of homogeneity. So we're all done. Go like that and press run. This is what you see in your output. If you want to see more detail, you click on the, the box there and you get your model viewer window. Over this side, you can see you've got your total sample size, your test statistic and your degrees of freedom and your p-value, everything you need to report. And over here, you've got um, the, the hypothesis test summary, but this is, where, this is where you've got the information that you want to report. If we go back and go to analyze non-parametric and redo it with a non-homogeneous expected frequency. Let's see how that would work. Everything's the same. We customize the analysis, choose our categories as our variable we want to do the test on, choose the setting customized test. But under options, <coughs> we want to customize the expected options. And here we put um, the category numbers in here. So 11, that will be our expected ratio 9, 12 will be an expected ratio 3, uh, 21 will be an expected ratio 3, and 22 will be an expected ratio of 1. Okay, and then we're all ready to run the test. Again, click on that to get your full information in the model summary video window model viewer window. Here we go, we've got the total sample size, we've got the chi-squared value, degrees of freedom and p-value. Um, we Just to, that's all you need for reporting, but just, just go back to the data and clarify that uh, this, these are the number codes that you use to define your expected frequencies. So there were 11 was the not, was the biggest category. We were predicting that it would be in the ratio 9. And then the 12s were 3 and the 21s were another 3 and the um, 22s were a 1. So if you want more information on that, do look in the, in the, in the textbook. Alright, that's all for now. We're done. Bye.